meanest, honest, legless, faithless thing, won't you? Rolling down the street like a bird in the wind. What the hell are you? We are Venom. Alright you guys, well as you can see from this hoodie that I'm wearing, this is finally going to be a movie review about Venom, and of course I'm not alone, I'm drawing with uh, my good friend Daniel. Yeah, hi. Who, uh, you know, wanted to take the, the, the time to, to make sure that we um, had a moment where we could actually talk about this because... Ooh, th this movie started a lot of controversy. Yeah. Okay, so before we get into um all this, I want to know your thoughts about the, the this movie overall. Yeah. Um, I went into this kind of kind of skeptical because I mean, Spider Man is not going to be in it, so. But at the same time, I was kind of curious to see what they possibly could do with it. And and then the reviews started coming out, and of course, they were pretty negative. So I was like, oh, this is not going to be due. And this is not going to be good. So, so I went into it, watched it, and to, uh, to my surprise, I actu actually really enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, and so I, I mean, yeah, I mean, it definitely does have problems, but overall, I, I fairly enjoyed it. So, what was your, what's your take on it? Um, oh, okay, if, so, um, you like, you already knew, cause, uh, cause, of course, I said on my channel that I was going to love this movie no matter what. It was because this was a Venom that we have been wanting to see, and yeah, and um, I wanna I wanna point out something, especially the uh, the topic that you just brought up about these doggone um like yeah, early reviews that 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 popped up out of nowhere that were talking ridiculous amounts of uh, stuff over something that wasn't even bad at all. Yeah, because. I went into this. I, I went into that theater, saw this movie, and I I, I got more than what I had expected out of the yeah. Venom movie. I got more than what, I, what what I thought I was even going to see. I thought I was just gonna see, you know, something about Venom and and and, and, and Eddie Brock just, you know, rampaging and and going crazy. Uh, no, it it was a lot more than that. We got I got yeah. a, I got so much more. I I had gotten. Uh, spo hey, spo spoiler alert! I had gotten She Venom. I had gotten the uh, the person that uh, that becomes Carnage at the end of this. I had gotten uh, I got to see other symbiotes and and, and whatnot. I was just like, what? What's the problem with all that? Cause because like when these move when these like you know clickbait remove like movie reviews uh come out because the same thing happened for um black panther and uh uh freaking uh uh i think infinity war the same thing happened with that and then like deadpool um two and, um yeah De like deadpool 2 and uh ant-man and the wasp like they were uh, like they immediately just started spamming out these articles saying all this untrue stuff and yeah. People hadn't even watched the doggone movie yet, and people are actually believing these so-called articles and critics, and they decide, oh, well, I was psyched about the movie, but now I guess I'm not going to watch it because, you know, this was said about that, and, and that one was like, okay, I want to let y'all know right now, and I'm not trying to ramble, but I, I, I've been wanting to get this out. Yeah. Do not let your... uh. Your, uh, your, your, your wanting to do something be silenced because somebody else has uh, uh, said something um, negative about something. Right. Do not, do not let that 
be the thing that's going to make you not want to do what you wanted to do in the first place. Yeah. Okay? Because me and Daniel can tell you the reason why we wanted to go see this movie because we wanted to see this movie. We didn't care about what other people said. We wanted to see uh, with our own two eyes exactly what we were gonna uh, we were gonna get, and we had yeah. gotten what 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 we wanted. This is something that that's actually good. It wasn't even bad, and the uh, the uh, the 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 blas the blasphemous comments about this movie is is unnecessary, comparing it. To freaking Catwoman? Yeah, that's a little bit of a stretch. It really is. Like, uh, like, like, come on! Why, 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 why are you comparing to that? And then, the and then the comments are saying that this was like, like th this would have been better if it was put out in like the nineties or uh, uh, whatnot. Like, oh. really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't get it. I don't. Um. I mean. I mean, it's it's this Venom is a lot better than the one we got in Spider-Man Three. Right. So let's yeah, so let's just get out. Let's just get that out of the way. Right. So, exactly. Yeah. And like, I'm just like it, it. It honestly just triggered me because you got well, we have people who you know are taking opinions from somebody else and they haven't even you know seen it for themselves. Like that is the worst way you can actually do about anything. If you if you actually want to go and find out some uh, find out something, go and find out for yourself. Don't wait around for somebody else to tell you something. And that goes right. with anything. That go that goes with any anything. If you want to do something, you want to know about something, go out there and you see it for yourself. You want to see a movie, go and see it for yourself and see if you like it. If you didn't like it, that's fine. We, me yeah. and Daniel are not telling you that this that this movie was the god tier um, movie. This was the grand all be end all. No, it was just a good movie. Yeah, I mean it's definitely very entertaining. I mean it's, I mean if you're going into it expecting like an Infinity War or a Black Panther like you just mentioned, you're not gonna get it. But you're but you're gonna get at least at least for me, I got a pre a pretty entertain entertaining popcorn flick and right and. Yeah, and, abs and absolutely, I definitely had a lot of fun with it. So, so I, I mean, I, so if you, I can see, I mean, if you, if you look at the trailer and you say, I don't, I don't, that looks stupid, then, then it's gonna be stupid for you. And but if you, but if you see, okay, that looks fun, yeah, and you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Right. So, right. That that that's how you should, how anybody should be looking at, at something. If you yeah. don't like it, that's fine. You don't you don't have to like the, the like the movie if you don't like it. Mm -hmm. That's how that's how life works. That and guess what? That is your opinion. Nobody can that's take that from you. Nobody. Right. Nobody. Absolutely. Nobody. It don't matter what nobody say. What's what what's another thing that I wanted to point out? Mm -hmm. Um um freaking uh 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 shoot oh yes the problem with this movie that I did not like was mm -hmm. the fact, and and this has been happening to a lot of uh, comic book movies, and I don't understand why this continues to happen. But the, 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 the like the, Hollywood keeps cutting out at least forty to to sixty something minutes out of this uh, out of this movie. My question mm -hmm. for all of that is why. Why do you feel as though you have to cut out 40 minutes of 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 a uh, good film mm. just to uh, uh, to uh, uh, to appease uh, to to everybody? Yeah, I mean, I th I think the only reason why they do it is because that way they can get more showings in theaters and therefore they can sell more tickets. That's kind of that's kind of how probably how they see it. Like less running time means more ticket, more tickets to sell means more money. But they don't think about about the how good the quality of the product they're putting out. So I mean that's kind of kind of the thing. And when we talk about issues, one issue that I kind of had is 
the movie does feel a little bit restrained because it's PG-13 and not rated R. Yeah, it was so. it was it was initially supposed to be rated R, but huh, because we're living in a time where you know people can't be fucking creative, it yeah. got bumped down to PG-13. So that's yeah. that's not you know the writer's fault. That's actually just society, okay? Yeah, that I think that's pretty much the studio's fault. Like, yeah, that, that's I mean, yeah, if, I mean, they can, they can. I mean, you can look at the su success of Deadpool or Logan or Deadpool Two, and they seem to do pretty, pretty well with a, with an R rating. So they did excellent. I, uh, yeah. oh my God, Logan was good, and Deadpool yeah. Two was the, was fantastic. People, people were looking for that. People, like, people were looking for you know more violence and whatnot because it was Deadpool. Absolutely. But, but the, the the point that uh, that I want to make, and because you just said that you know, um, less uh, uh, screen time uh, makes more money. Look, yeah. if the Passion of the Christ mm. and Lord of the Rings, as long of of, of movies as they are, could yeah. make money, I don't see how this could be any different. Lord of the Rings to the, to this day is. A favorite film by yeah. a lot of people. people Absolutely. People stay watch. Uh, uh, people I know stay watching Passion of the Christ, and that was long as crap. Yeah. So I mean I don't get it, but hey, I mean it's out of it's out of our hands, like so. Right. I like I like and I, I like I honestly understand that, but it's just that I don't I like I I, I need the studio these studios to understand that. You know, we don't have a problem with yeah, I mean, staying 40 it, more minutes into a theater just to watch a movie, okay? Yeah, I mean, but also it's also kind of the thing. I mean, Sony will never learn, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then there's that. Yeah, absolutely. So... Alright, so, now that we got all that ish out of the way and off my system, let's... <laughs> <laughs> Let's start yeah. with this, uh, the beginning of this film. Yeah, um, yeah, because it, it initially starts with, uh, astronauts returning from, uh, returning from space with, I mean, essentially specimens, or in this case, symbiotes, um, and something ha and something happens, and they ending up crash, crash landing in the middle of, I think, I think it's somewhere in Asia. And one of the astronauts' name is Jameson. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Also, you know what? You just brought that up. I didn't catch that until uh, until just now. Because they, they did yeah. say Jameson. Yeah. See, man? Yeah, yeah that's, kind of, that's kind of the thing. I mean, because, because, it's, because it's technically a part, a part of, a part of the, the Spider-Man product. So, right. right. Yeah. And it has, and, and it makes sense because I, I don't know why, but I, I I think Jameson is somehow tied within, yeah, because he's part of space program, so yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, Jameson's son, after all, is an astro astronaut, yeah, so he is, he yeah. is an astronaut. Yeah, yeah. So it would make sense. Um, so basically, they crash land. They manage to get all the all the all the specimen except for one, which escapes. Um. And and then we and it basically becomes this more or less kind of like a manhunt from this this corporation called the Life Foundation, right? To, to find to find it, yeah, to, and, to find all of these symbiotes. Also, yeah. um, I want to bring up something, and it, and it, it, it's about symbiotes. So, yes. um, correct me if I'm wrong, but do symbiotes uh are are, are symbiotes just like? normal behaving uh uh um you know like beings of life until they obtain a host and they obtain that characteristic of that host um i'm not, i'm not quite sure but it seems to my knowledge it it kind of is mm -hmm. um that they basically they le leech onto a host and be and basically live off of that off of that host until essentially the host either becomes essentially you know, essentially dies, and then they essentially have to move on because they do need a living host from that specific specific planet or world to to essentially to live and breathe. So, 
I think I think that's I think that's kind of it. Um, but I'm not really sure. But I think. Hopefully, one one in the comment section can could help us out there. Yeah, somebody, uh, uh, one of y'all, uh, l let us know whether if I'm right or wrong because, um, it was puzzling to me that uh, Riot was already very aggressive. Yeah. And and, and like um, as as of like Venom said, and, and I'm I'm going ahead of myself, but he yeah. was a symbiote that uh had many different abilities with many different weapons yeah yeah so yeah i mean i feel, i believed actually from the comic book comic book perspective that they are essentially kind of kind of peaceful but i mean it also depends on the host that they sort of latch on to that they can basically uh mimic the sort of the characterizations of right. that care the character so like if Let's say a symbiote attached to somebody like Deadpool, it would become become kind of psychotic, kind of a psychotic, psychotic maniac. I think that so, actually did happen in one of the yeah. comics. Yeah, I think it also did too. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, but moving on from there, I mean, we do get, I mean, we do get to see Eddie Brock, and it's kind of kind of that uh, more or less kind of that guy down on his luck but has a has a job has a girlfriend and they're living instead of living in new york they're living in san francisco right right yeah and, and like and like brock like uh, he 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 you know lets it be known just a little bit that that he uh, well, um actually was trying to escape um new york for some odd reason i i, I think he got in trouble with the press or or with um while he was yeah. with daily bugle um mm. well not yeah 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 daily bugle i hope I, I hope i got that right yeah i think that i think that's true yeah 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 so yeah so basically he is kind of an investigative reporter and he let me see what was it after that i mean i think it actually did end up going to interview yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, um, the CEO of the Life Foundation. Yeah, the CEO of the Life Foundation because um, Eddie's mm. boss, like, he wanted him to do, do to do an interview about the Life Foundation and basically just, you know, have him, um, I forget what his name is. Yeah, Carlton Drake, I think it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Carl, yeah Carlton Drake. Uh, he wanted him, he, his boss wanted him to, uh, to interview Carlton Drake and just talk about his freaking rockets. And, and, yeah. and, he, and he specifically told this man to not um go yeah, into him. touchy subjects don't ask him about anything else but of course yeah. eddie being the stubborn bastard that he is and not listening to anybody else not even his girlfriend which yeah he, he ended up costing her job like yeah I don't even, I, yeah because he yeah because he did he dug up the confidential files that she had and ended up asking him questions about it Ugh. It's such a dick move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. like, like at, at that scene, I was so, I was so mad at Eddie. It's like, why would yeah. you mess this up for yourself? You had, yeah. a, you had a lovely girlfriend who you were engaged to. Apparently, you had a yeah. good job. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Like, come on. And then, yeah. and, and then after, um. Of course, his girlfriend leaves him. He loses his job because they can't take his crap anymore. Six yeah. months later, I, I I think it's six months later. Yeah, yeah, it's six months later. Yeah, yeah, he's he's in a crappy apartment. He's uh he's not getting the right type of food he needs. He's um he's trying to find a job quick before he gets evicted. Yeah, and and then and then one of the scientists from the Life Foundation actually looks up Eddie Brock to basically tell her. Tell them that you know their life and nation is experimenting on homeless people with these symbiotes, Wait, well, and, which was really fucked up. Like like that, yeah. that was really messed up. Like he like 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 Carlton Drake. I, I like I, I was telling I was telling my friend in the, the uh, 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 you know while we were watching this that he mm. he uh, comes off to me as a, a um a sociopath. Yeah. Yeah, he kind yeah he kind of does. Because because so. he he man, he manipulated the crap out of people. 
He manipulated uh, uh, the side, the the, the, group, the female scientist. He manipulated the homeless guy. Uh, had had him think that he was, you know, doing this for a good cause. Like, yeah. he was a sweet talker. Like he he was, he did not care who who he had to hurt. He was just wanting to get results. Absolutely, and 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 of course, uh, she sneaks in Eddie Brock to to the lab, and. And and he ends he ends up ge accidentally getting getting one of the symbiotes attached to himself. Yeah. So yeah. And and it and, turned out that uh the uh the homeless person that was you know, um at that time attached to the symbiote, well, which we kn knew as yeah. Venom, uh yeah. she was like kind of his friend. Whenever whenever he went um yeah. down uh, down the street and uh, to go at this little drugstore to get something, yeah. she, she always talked to him and whatnot, and it it, it sucked that, that she died. Like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's really messed up. It really is. But yeah, um, yeah. she the, uh, she uh, is begging him for help. She breaks out the doggone glass. Uh. 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 Um. What, what what you want to call it? Uh, prison yeah, uh, or what or whatnot? Yeah. Or, or yeah, a, a glass prison. She mm. uh 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 transfers uh the symbiote venom o o over to Eddie, and Eddie immediately he uh, he, he just he he realizes he he's got to get the hell out of there. So yeah. um he's uh. Breaking down doors because because uh, like the the venom suit is adapting to his body. Um, yeah. He uh, is, you know, um, ramming through trees. He's climbing trees. Mm. Like it, it was a good thing to see. I actually enjoyed it, and, and, and like I, I love how it, in the scene where uh, Venom was kind of talking to him, and, but but he didn't know who or, or who he was talking to. Like, yeah. Like Venom, it, it, it like picked him up when, when he had fell it was like keep moving They're like oh shit oh <laughs> yeah, yeah that's actually kind of funny that he actually he's he start hearing uh, hearing voices and he and he doesn't know who and where it's coming from it's just inside his head so yeah that's that was actually kind of cool so yeah and the more any i guess i guess you could say that he's Starts now he start kind of getting sick and he constantly craving food and yeah um yeah the uh well well my friend uh, like he had mentioned to me that uh the reason why um Eddie was going through all that is because well it makes it makes perfect sense if you if you're keeping a uh, a uh, um a being like like a, a life form cramped yeah. inside a, a little tube with no food. No yeah. water. It, it it's gonna be you know wanting to uh to, to find anything it can it can get. So absolutely, it, it made sense that Venom yeah. was having Eddie be so damn hungry. He was eating um um un uh uh cooked uh tater tots right yeah. out the freezer. Uh, yeah. uh, he, uh, he even gra even grabbed the old chicken bones out the trash. Yeah, I was like, oh was no, don't make him do that. And then he did it, and and and, they, and like he immediately threw up. It was like, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, like Venom, why would you make him do that? Like, like don't yeah. make him go through trash. Like, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and the and and of course and of course the uh, let me see. I think uh, yeah, Carl, and Carlton Drake of course finds out that um, one of the symbiotes is missing and. And the scientist that let Eddie Brock in, she she is the one that made made him take um, had him take pictures, had him. Uh, uh, okay, I, can, I lost my train of thought here. Um, take your time, dude. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but eventually, but basically, they do understand that there was a break in, and um, and so they start. More or less, kind of investigating. Okay, who was this guy that she let in? And right, right. Well, yeah. well, yeah, yeah. First, Carlton Drake was trying to figure out how did he get in there. Uh, uh, he fired yeah. one security guard out of uh, 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 just right off the bat, and then mm. um, uh, well, I I think his uh, his team, like his very secretive, mm -hmm. like you know, scummy team, uh, they had found out that she knew something about what what had happened that night. Of course. 
um, mm. Carlton Drake, you know, pulls it to the side. It's like, who is the person that did uh, that did all of this? And um, she finally yeah. admits it to it. And then thinking yeah. that, that she was going to be okay, he has them send in a, a symbiote to, to basically just kill her. Yeah, basically send a hit squad to to take him to take him out and to get to try to retrieve the symbiote back. So right, right. Eh, so, and, so she, so she just dies the worst way possible. It's like, god damn. Yeah. Yeah. It. Yeah, it was messed up. And of course, and of course, the hit squad of course shows up at Eddie Brock's apartment and is basically saying, you know, you have something that doesn't belong to you and. And when they try to try to touch Eddie Brock, of course Venom fights back. Right, uh, and, yeah. and then like the the scene the scene before that where like Venom basically told him, "Don't open that door," and he opened it anyway. It was like, Eddie, would you listen for one second? Yeah, but I mean, can you really blame him though? I mean, you're yes! hearing voices. I mean, you're hearing a voice inside your head like, "Don't open that door," and you're like, "Uh, what?" So, I mean, look. All I'm saying is, if yeah. if, if if you hear somebody tell you, "Don't open the door," something should tell you to not open the oh. door. <laughs> Don't open yeah. the door. Yeah, but then again, also, of course, Venom, of course, fights fights them off pretty easily. Yeah. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he uh, pushes one guy to uh, to to one wall. I think he uh, throws the other guy out, out of the dog on window. Um, I think I get, yeah. I, I think he yeah. kills no, one. He knocks one out, and I mean, yeah, I mean, this is one of the things I kind of missed about. Me. Venom is in fact I miss kind of miss the fact that he doesn't have webbing so but, but oh, hey. I, was, I, I was fine with that because the Venom that the, the, I, the, the I know um mm. he, he actually did that and it, when he wanted to like you know swing or, or, or transport himself he would use you know his yeah. um, parts, of, parts, of, parts, yeah, of, himself. parts of himself yeah. and just yeah go, go right at it I, I, I did not mind that at all yeah, I mean, I'm not complaining. I mean, it, I'm just, I'm just picky. That's all. Right. So, go ahead, go ahead yeah. and be picky. I don't care. Yeah. But, yeah, um, but yeah, and 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 of course, um, Eddie, and then we participate in essentially Eddie Brock getting getting on his bike and just driving, driving, just speeding down San Francisco. Um. Yeah. Um. That. That mm. okay, I, I'm just gonna say right now that whole chase scene, I love that yeah. scene because we were showing just how much um, Venom at that moment at that moment in time was basically in control and was covering Eddie, even though Eddie didn't know what the hell was happening to him. All he knew was that he had to get away. Absolutely. So, so yeah, yeah, uh, they 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 finally. A semi got away, but then um, the truck, uh, of course, hit him. And thinking that you know they had subdued Eddie, didn't happen because yeah. um, Venom immediately took over, changed yeah. the full the full body suit. And I just I loved this so much. Yeah, oh, that, that was God. pretty cool. That was so yeah. it was so good to see Venom just you know. Um, I always wanted you know a scene. In live action, where we see the Venom suit basically wrap over Eddie uh, as if it was like a um, yeah, like, like a skin, like almost like a skin or yeah, skin like, suit, like almost. a like like a, a real live but animal like skin suit, and it was just yeah. it, it just took over his whole body and made him large and big and whatnot, and this is exactly yes. what this did, and I loved the hell out of it. Especially the yeah. scene, uh, uh, the part where Venom says, eyes, nose, pancreas, so many snacks, so, so little time. I was like, yes! Yeah. Please give us more of this, please! Yeah, and licking, licking, over, the, licking over the bad guy. like Right, licking like over a, the bad guy, biting somebody's head off. Like, yeah. yes! Yeah, this is exactly what we wanted. This, so. is, the, this is what we wanted, like... Yeah. Oh my god. And, um, what what, ha what happens after that? I think. Um, I mean, yeah, I know. I remember that he he does escape, and then Eddie Brock, Eddie Brock basically comes back, and he's 
and he's like, wait, what? I mean, my legs were broken. Oh, yeah, that, that, yeah. that scene. And then yeah. um, Venom basically says, uh, cooperate with me and you might just survive. Yeah. Like, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't you who found me. It's me who found you. Hmm. I was like, oh, right. shit. Well. Um, okay. I mean, I, I guess we're in this now. So. Right. I, I guess I guess that, that that's just how it was going to be. Um, yeah. So I bet, I, then I think after that, he uh, he interrupts uh, his ex-girlfriend's date that he had. Yeah. That, he, uh, that she had with her new boyfriend. Yeah. I mean, and... That's a scene that's kind of good. I mean, it. The, I think that's the kind of the kind of the only scene that kind of made me cringe, and look away. I don't know why, but I laughed. I I I cringed yeah. and then I laughed because yeah. The fact I that, mean, because the, I think because the scene is so awkward. But then it, again, it is. I think it, it yeah, is. but I think it's intentional. It's intentional. So, <laughs> I mean, I'll give it a pass on that. Cause like, cause like, we it's, it it was just funny to me how Eddie was just he was snapping on everybody, and then he went in the fish tank and and bought and and, and bit off the dog on lobster. I was like, Venom, stop making him be yeah. this way. Don't do this to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't do this to this man. Yeah, don't do it, please. Come on. So, yeah. Wow. Cause like, I like. Of course, it's it's still around that time where um Eddie doesn't have full control over himself yeah. and whatnot, and like is like the the instincts of uh, of Venom just it, it just starts to take over, and, and he yeah. just he he loses all control of, of what's going on. Yeah, right. Um, and that's kind of what he does. Um. I'm trying trying to think. Okay, what happens after that? I think. Oh yeah. Um. 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 Do they do they actually? It's that the scene where they go, essentially to the lab because there are other symbionts there, or no? No. no it is where um. Uh, his ex girlfriend's uh, new boyfriend uh, takes he, him to the doctors. That yeah. Right. That's the, that's true. To basically have an MRI. Yeah, MRI. The, and, yep, and yeah, because because he doesn't feel well. That's right. Right. And and of, and of course because because it's venom and symbionts and they ha are really sensitive to sound, so the moment he turns on the MRI he's he starts flinching like almost like he has his, has an epileptic seizure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah, like well when he turned that thing on, I was like, No, don't turn that thing on Then you just see yeah. Eddie uh, Eddie Rogers percolating in, in the dog on yeah. um on, on yeah. the dog on stretch is like yeah and I'm like oh no turn it off turn it yeah. off <laughs> like, yeah stop <laughs> yeah absolutely but it I mean they do end up actually separating the symbiote from from Eddie for at least oh, yeah. For, at least yeah. yeah like later on they do but um yeah I I, then, I, I think then they um it, it trans it trans you know trans yeah. back to the lab where uh yeah. uh, uh yeah, but, yeah, okay. And yeah, now I'm with you. I mean, they do yeah. basically take a take a scan. I think that there's he does have a parasite, and yeah, he he basically and the doc and basically his new new boyfriend, who's a doctor, basically says, you know, just get some rest, and we'll take some more tests later. Right, and mm. then and then it trans it, it trans over to uh back back in the lab where uh uh. Forget his name again. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, that's. I think that's kind of the problem too. Um, I don't remember a lot. I'll, pretty much anybody's name, pretty much except for the, except for Ed, except for Ed, except for Eddie and the symbiotes in general. So, I mean, yeah. But anyway, let's. But yeah, they uh, um the the scientists uh are over at uh. The Life Foundation. I was trying to say, they find out yeah. that like the symbiotes, they're uh uh you know, linking with with the uh the the host, but they're not lasting long. Like like that like they're they're steadily eating uh like killing the host. Like they're they're yeah. eating the or or organs because they're freaking hungry, and whatnot. Right. And I'm just like, why can't y'all see that? You're dealing with life forms. Feed them. Yeah. So, it's like, come on, you, you want them to live? Why don't you 
Give him food! Right! <laughs> I was just like, wait a minute, why why are they why are they continuing to like do tests on them and not, you know, making sure that they're, you know, well fed? They're you're dealing with aliens. Yeah, but they don't, probably don't have that much knowledge about them, so yeah. All so. like all, all I knew what, what what made sense to me was that if, if you're dealing with a life like or, or, or a being or whatever and it's it's moving and whatnot Mm. It, it that that has to mean that it it needs nutrients of some type. It needs protein yeah. of some type. It ain't yeah. gotta be food, food, but like something. Yeah, I think it's gotta be something. So yeah, so. But I'm yeah, to... um, all the symbiotes that uh, they were tested on, they quickly just died because, of course, they were starving yeah. and whatnot. So, so they ate the whole, so yeah. they couldn't eat anything else. So they all just died except for the um the symbiote which is known as riot who uh i failed yeah. to mention in the beginning of this just started killing people right off the bat he uh, yeah. I, like it took over this uh this uh japanese um or, or was it japanese or, or or vietnamese uh female yeah and uh she went i think and somewhere in um and it lashes onto a little girl who goes yeah. who goes to San Francisco and eventually ends up at Carlton Drake. Right, so. and eventually ends up at Carlton Drake and then uh, to, to finds him and then attaches uh, himself to Carlton Drake, mm. which he right. had no problem with. I was in there thinking, yeah, oh yes, please yeah, kill him. I mean, I mean, he got he got pretty used to it. I mean, I mean, to be fair, and, and he it, just it's... went through. All this, yeah, I mean, mm. I mean to be fair, it's what he wanted. To to, to be fair, it, it's yeah. what Carlton Drake wanted. He wanted to, you know, uh, have a higher purpose, right? And, and and um evolve and whatnot. Like like he literally said that humans are are a weak species. Mm. I was like, dude, you're human yourself. What are you talking about? And then we uh, we find out that he just wants to be more than what than than, than what he was. Right. So, um, yeah, so, but, uh, okay, so, but Eddie does get separ separated from Venom, at least for a while, but, uh, Venom do does attach himself to a dog, and... Oh, yeah, that Eddie, crap was yeah, funny. It, yeah, and, yeah, that was kind of funny, and eventually latches on to his, to his ex-girlfriend, which... Became yeah, she Venom, and... Yeah. Look... I, I know, I know it was just for a split second. I understand that. But the mm -hmm. fact that she, Venom, was in this. Yeah. They, uh, they already had me. I was, all, I was, uh, I was already had a, a, at the first scene. But when I saw that, I was like, oh, crap, it's she, Venom. Like, yes. So we yeah, got, I mean. So we got, yeah. we had more than just uh, one Venom. We had, we, uh, well, not one Venom, but one symbiote. We had like three different symbiotes. Yeah. So yeah, that's and that's that's actually kind of cool that we actually got to see her at least for a, at least for a few seconds. So right, right. And, and and like the, I like the the whole uh, I like the connection that um, Eddie still had with his ex girlfriend. Like even though yeah. she she was still mad at him because she because he caused it on his job, she was still there for him when uh, when he really yeah. needed her. Absolutely. Cause and like, I don't. Yeah, I yeah. mean, because like anybody would get freaked out. If they saw their ex transform into this alien-like monster and whatnot, yeah. no, she just looked at him as like hospital now. I, absolutely, and that's and that and that's great. Uh, and also, I think the, the the dynamic between Venom and Eddie is also really cool. Yes, yes, yeah. but, like it was so good to see them, like you know, really just um, communicate with, with each other. Hmm. Absolutely. Like, I mean, when, I mean, when Venom sort of climbed to the top of one, he had to get into this one building, and he and he need. I think it was that where he used to work at, and he had to deliver something to his old boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was trying to expose the truth about Carlton Drake finally, and, yeah. and Venom. Uh, well, 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 at first, Eddie Brock was trying to get in the normal way, and Venom just like, you want up? 
why didn't you just say so? And I was like, yeah, why did you just ask him to go, to, to go up? That would have been easy yeah. for you. Yeah, and it ends, ends up, and he ends up leaving, leaving his phone on the desk, which has the photos and the evidence. Right, and all the evidence, and, and then Venom, you know, is, is telling Eddie, jump out the window. And then, yeah. and, then, and then it comes to Eddie just taking the elevator, and Venom's just like, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was I was I was laughing. I was like, oh wow. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. I love I loved that scene. And, and like the uh, the audience laughed the same time I did when uh, when I saw that. Yeah, me too. So, yeah, absolutely. And I mean, we do, and we do eventually get to I mean, maybe I'm jumping a little bit ahead of myself, but we we eventually do get to the big big action sequence, big showdown. Yeah, between, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, uh, like after between... um his ex girlfriend gives uh Venom back to Eddie, and uh, like like Venom just basically tells him that you know what, I like it here. Um, I, I think I'm gonna stay. I think I, I think I want to stay here and help you guys out. I was like, well, yeah. and Eddie just like, well, cut the crap. Why did you change your mind so uh, all, all of a sudden? He was like, you because of you. You did. Mm. I'm just like, all right, well, that's fucking dope. So yeah, they uh, him and Venom follow uh Carlton Drake, um and uh, um, freaking yeah, Riot, then... uh over to the rocket, uh, well over to the rocket because Riot and Carlton Drake had this plan to to get more um symbiotes down on Earth so that that they can um take over the uh the, the entire planet. Yeah. And they have, and they eventually do end up, end up fight, end up fighting each other, and yeah, it's it's kind of cool to see the to see both see Venom and Riot fight, fighting each other, and basically ripping it, trying to rip each other apart. Yeah, and... that was the best. Like 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 when 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 they when, when they were like basically uh, ripping each other apart, and then they molded at one point. And yeah. I was like, oh crap! I was like, mm. yes! Oh, like. That, that, that's, that's fucking awesome that like symbiotes like they, they can like you know come together like like that even though they already have a host I, like i thought it was just gonna kick out one host no it was just them molded together but they were still fighting i was like yes keep going with that i, I like i like that scene i enjoyed that scene a lot absolutely absolutely and it's pretty cool to see riot able to sort of i guess i guess you could say changes hands into weapons like yeah. like the big swords and yeah blades right. and whatnot right also so, yeah. also i wanted to point out that we had uh i, I well i noticed it a little bit the mm -hmm. like the different symbiotes that didn't exactly make it you like notice the different color the coloring patterns i think mm -hmm. that the blue one i think the blue one was wrath the blue one mm -hmm. was wrath and then the uh, the yellow one was screech like it, yeah. if, if they had survived that would have been dope to see both of them but I realized that that's a lot of symbiotes in one movie. That's a yeah. lot of symbiotes. So I wasn't too worried about that. I was not. I was not too worried about that. But yeah, um, Riot and uh, Carlton Drake uh, get blown up uh, while the rocket blasts off or whatnot because of his ex girlfriend and and him and um, Eddie working together. Um, Eddie basically almost loses Venom um, because the uh, of course they work. You know. Um, nearby the whole explosion so, and and fire uh, hurts symbiotes so yeah we just see venom being slowly ripped apart from from Eddie and and, and, and Eddie and venom just like uh, goodbye Eddie it was like no venom and then he goes into the water uh -huh. at night and it just goes to black I was like damn please don't lose venom mm -hmm. and then we finally get uh, to the uh, the next scene where Eddie and his ex uh, basically talk about what what had happened and um, mm. His ex, I think she's uh, gonna be doing something uh, with. Uh, I think um, this type of facility. I can't remember what the hell she said, but yeah. uh, at, 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 I think Eddie had pointed out that he was gonna go back to the Daily Bugle, and so right. he, he could be a, re a, a reporter again. And then we just hear Venom in the background was like, "Oh my God, he's alive!" Like, yeah. uh, like, I, like I already knew. That if, um, as long as, you know, the uh, the symbiote is attached to a host, they could, uh, you know, keep a little bit, a little piece of them 
um, yeah. still with the host, yeah. it, it would just have to be uh, healing over time. Yeah. Yeah, and Eddie Brock, of course, goes back to the drugstore we've seen him always go to, and the thing is that there is some guy, some thug that that constantly keeps taking taking money from him, taking money from her right. for reasons, and 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 of course Eddie Eddie just happens to be happens to be there and. Because he's trying, he's going to buy him, going to buy something, going to buy food, and 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 Venom is like bad guy, yeah, yeah, bad guy, yeah. Because like they, they uh, him and Eddie made a deal. Like, okay, like uh, like if you if you like if you're gonna if you're gonna stay, you can only hurt bad people. You can't hurt everybody uh, everybody that you uh, that you see. It has to be bad people that that you want to hurt, eat, or or uh, tear apart. Right, and he was like, "Okay, cool. We can do whatever we want." So, uh, um, <laughs> then there was yeah. that that, that, that glorious scene where yeah. he's just talking to the to this uh the, this bur- like the, this robber, and I'm, I'm just, like, you can see the fear on his face. It's like, "Yes, piss yourself, piss on yourself, please, yes." Yeah, yeah, and he, yeah, and he's like, "What the hell are you? We are Venom," like, and it's like, Venom. yeah. Yeah, and he and it for one second it looks like he he's not gonna bite him, and he's like on second floor. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna bite you. Yeah. And then yeah. like I, I I then he like devours him whole and whatnot. And yeah. uh, Eddie Eddie is telling the uh, the woman like, oh yeah, I, I have a parasite. And yeah, like, yeah. See you later, Mrs. Chan. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> that was that 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 part was so funny. Yeah, I I, I enjoyed that ending scene, and I enjoyed the fuck out of this movie. Yeah, absolutely. And so did I. And then we, and then we, of course, get to the post credit scene where... Oh, it, yes! Yeah, yeah I, I got a lot of things to say here. Uh, yeah, so Eddie, Eddie goes to this prison to interview an inmate over there that has curly red hair, played by Woody Harrelson, and I, and I remember just thinking to myself, is is that Cletus Cassidy? Mm-hmm. So yeah, so so basically, it's a bit like Silence of the Lambs feel to it, but and it's like okay, okay, and he, yeah, I don't. Could you just come closer? And he's like, okay, I'm here, and 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 Woody Harrelson's character basically says, when I get out, and I will, there's going to be carnage. And I was like, yes. Yeah. I was like, yes, freak, yeah. yes, like, like, like the, like the moment, the, uh, the, uh, the shot of the, uh, of the, uh, prison came on yeah. the screen. I was like, oh my God, we're going to see it. We're yeah. going to see Chrysler's cage in this. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, yes. We, yes. And we, and we ended up seeing Cletus Cassidy. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, Cletus so, Cassidy. So, Why is it Cletus Cassidy? Cletus Cage. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, it, it may, so they're basically te- teasing us if there is going to be a Venom sequel. There's, there, it's probably gonna have Carnage in it. Right, so. right. Look, look, look. I ain't got no problem with, with with a sequel. I have no problem with a sequel because everybody was wanting to have um, like a movie with Carnage in it. So if they make a sequel, yeah. Carnage Carnage to be in it. I have no issue yeah. with that at all. Yeah, if only Sony can just please bump it up to R. Yeah, that, that, that's all that is. Like y'all, y'all gotta do better with uh, with that. Like don't don't crack under pressure. Keep it rated yeah. R, like like you initially was going to do. Cause yeah. if, if if it was, you know, still rated R, we it probably would have been even better. Yeah, it probably would be. Maybe they'll they'll release like an R rated version of Blu-ray. Who knows? I hope but, so. If they yeah. if if they do that. Oh, you already know. Mm. You, you already know what, what what's going to be happening. I do. But yeah. So um, it, yeah. So I mean, so Venom was a, was a ton of fun. Absolutely, and it was a lot better than I expected it to be. Yeah, seriously. I I went like I said in the beginning of this. I went to this movie to to see what uh. I, uh, you know what I was gonna get, and I had gotten more than what I expected. Right. I would rate this movie eight out of ten, and that's only yeah. because of the fact that uh, Forty Minutes was cut out of this uh, of this video, 
and the mm. fact that I want and I, I just wanted to see more. I, I honestly just wanted to see more. And I don't know about what is um, Harrelson be. Uh, yeah, Woody what, Harrelson. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Woody Harrelson being. Um, uh, 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 being Cassie. Carnage. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure about that. I don't, I don't know how to feel about that, but who knows? They might even decide to change the character, uh, change the actor. They might decide yeah. to do that. But yeah, who, I mean, it's just knows? a tease. It's just, yeah. it's, just, it's just a teaser. That's all that is. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll go 8 out of 10 as well on this one. So, I mean, if you if, so if people get a chance to go go see it, I'll rec- I'll totally recommend it just for the fun of it. Yeah, same. Like for for uh for all of you that that watch my movie reviews, go see this movie if you haven't. Just, yeah. just, just, just go see it. It don't matter what nobody say. It don't matter what uh, what anybody tells you. Go see the movie for, for yourself. If you wanted to go see it, go see it for yeah. yourself and see if you actually enjoyed it. If you actually liked it. Yeah, and just to sort of point it out, uh, I mean the the cri- the critic score on Rotten Tomatoes is like thirty percent, but. It's such a big disparity because the audience score is like 90%. So the audience is loving this. Right, right. And, and the fact and the fact that it made I think 40 million dollars. Yeah, at, at it, the at, at the uh the uh, the launch of this freaking movie. It made yeah. 40 billion uh, 40 million dollars. Yeah, one of the biggest <laughs> opening the weekends for an October October screening, so yeah. Like I don't care what nobody say. Y'all can't deny that these superhero movies are doing something right. You can't. Yeah. You can't deny that. If they're making money, then uh, then uh, then we all good. Yeah. We, uh, we, uh, everybody's uh, everybody's doing fine. And also, I wanted to point out that my my little sister, um, shout shout out to her by by the way. She's not a, she is not a comic book fan. She's not a Marvel yeah. fan. She didn't know nothing about Venom, but I'll, I'll tell you what. She went to go see this movie, and she enjoyed the movie. And, see, that, that's got to tell you something. Yeah, that, that, that should tell you something. That yeah. is, is that, like, if like if you want to do something, go do it. Don't don't let the, the BS and crap stop you. Don't let it stop you, please. I'm, I'm saying this because I actually care, okay? Yeah, so do I. We're saying this because we actually cared. Go, yeah. go do the things that you want to do because you want to do it. Don't listen to to these biased opinions and understand that what we just said in this video is our, it's just our opinion. It's not yeah. fact. It is, it, it's, it's not factual. It is literally our own um viewpoint and and what we saw. Okay. Yeah. That's all that is. You ain't gotta, you know, think think about it as the truth. It's not the, it's, it's not even that. It's just our opinion. Yeah. And we, we, we're, right. we're just sharing it with you. That's all that is. Yeah. But I believe that's <laughs> going to be it for this movie review. Yeah. This was a Absolutely. lot shorter than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's a good thing because, <laughs> I mean, we don't want to get it. Probably not. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it was a lot shorter even than I thought it was going to. But yeah, it, it's certainly been fun talking about it. But uh, yeah, I believe um, the next uh, movie um, regarding um, comic book heroes um, is it is is it Spider Man into the into the into the Spider Verse or is it Aquaman? Yeah, the, yeah, that's yeah. Is that, into the Spider Verse. Okay. True. Okay. Okay. All right. So until mm. then, because you already know I'm gonna be doing a movie review on that. You already know we're gonna be doing a movie review, so th- th- don't even question that. Yeah. Until then. This has been the real Sakurai, and and thank you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you guys yeah. so much for taking the time and watching all of this. I know y'all, some of y'all are busy, but thank you so much for watching this. Yeah, we're gonna get up out. Peace.